Welcome back to the channel guys, it is me, 80 summer for 4 so today we'll be predicting the European games this week guys, European games this week, so please remember to like this video if you haven't already, subscribe if you're new around here, and also hit that bell notification to be notified whenever I upload a video on the channel, so please do all that stuff, and yeah, let's try to get to 10 likes guys, let's try to aim for 10 likes on this video guys, and yeah, so from now on every video I'll try to aim for a like target at the beginning of the video, so let's go ahead and start this off with the Champions League, guys. So let's go ahead and predict the Champions League one games real quick. So I'll try to keep this preview uh, video to be around, hopefully around 8 to 10 minutes-ish, so you guys have a good, concise preview of all the competitions because we're going through Champions League, Europa League, and Conference League. Let's start with the first game which we have here. It is Manchester City versus Bayern Munich. This will be a really, really interesting one. I am going to personally go sit on the fence for this one. I think it's going to be a very exciting game. I just have a feeling both teams will cancel each other out, and it's going to be a very high-scoring affair. And I'm going to go for a two-all draw. I do think, though, Manchester City will actually take the lead because they're at home. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go with Manchester City to do this. And I'm going to go for my player of the match. I don't think it'll be Erling Holland, even though it's an obvious answer. I feel like he's going to have a good performance, but I don't think he'll be a standout guy. I think Byron will be able to nullify him with the likes of Upamakano and Delit, of course. And so my man of the match is actually going to go ahead and be... I'm going to go with Israel Mars. I think Mars will perform in this kind of game, and he will do something. Next up is Benfica versus Inter Milan. A really, really difficult one to see this one pans out. At the time of the recording this video, I am going to go with Benfica to slightly do this. Although, it's going to be tough. So I'm going to go with Benfica to narrowly win 1-0. I was tempted to play for a draw, but I don't know, man. I'm just not really being convinced with Inter, man. But you know what? Maybe I might go with the 1-1 draw, actually. You know what? I'll play at the 1-1 draw. I'll go with the 1-1 draw, since I'm not sure, but I do think Benfica will actually dominate. It'll probably be the better team, but I think Inter will somehow get a draw, potentially. So, my player of the match for Benfica is going to be... I'm going to say Joao Mario. I think he's going to have a stellar game. Next up is Milan versus Napoli. Really, really interesting one, guys. For me, for this one, guys, I think Napoli should be winning this. Although, I will say this, though. I think it'll be very, very tricky, especially the San Siro. And I've kind of noticed that usually the away teams like to win these kind of um, the away games for some reason. So, I am going to go with a very narrow, narrow 1-0 win for Napoli. But, maybe Milan might be able to do something. So, I'm going to go with Napoli to score. Um, I'm going to go with them to narrowly win this. And, yeah, my player of the match for Napoli is going to be uh, Kvartskali, of course. Um, I think he's going to do it. Then, Real Madrid, Chelsea, man. Oh, boy. I mean, if you're a Chelsea fan, cover your eyes in horror because I think this could be quite possibly a demolition. Quite possibly. Um, I'm going to go with a safe 2-0 pick, but it could even be more than 2-0 at this rate because Real Madrid are that good in the Champions League. That said, though, don't write Chelsea off in the Champions League because Chelsea can maybe make things interesting. But, yeah, I'm going to go with Real Madrid to win. And, of course, Benzema in this one. I'm going to play my booster for this one. I'm most confident of these four games with this one in particular. I'm most confident with that. So, I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to participate in this league. And, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the Europa League, shall we? So, we have our first game, which we have here is Feyenoord versus Roma. Um, it's going to be very, very interesting to see how this one pans out. I am going to go with um, a draw for this one, though. I think Roma and Feyenoord will do just enough. And I think Roma Feyenoord will just be able to hold on for a draw. Despite, I think, Roma actually doing, the, probably being the better team. Actually, I think Feyenoord is going to actually take the lead in this game. Uh, my goal scorer for Feyenoord is going to be Danilo Pereira. I think he's going to score the opening goal for them. The next up is Leverkusen versus Union St. Galas. I'm actually going to go with a draw for this one. A 1-1 one -one draw. I think Union St. Galas will actually do really well in this game. I think Leverkusen will equalize. will take the lead. And I think Union St. Galas will actually get back in this one. So, my, play, um, my goal scorer for... Um, Leverkusen is going to be, I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go with Amari. Amari, that's my goal score. And then Juventus versus Sporting. Um, I'm going to go with a very narrow 1-0 win for Juventus. I think they'll get the job done. Remember, guys, Uguata will be suspended for the first leg, which is a big, big blow for Juventus uh, Sporting. But I think Juventus should have enough in that tank to get the job done. And I'm going to go with my goal score being Di Maria, of course. He always comes clutch in these kind of games. Then finally, we have the last one is Man United versus Sevilla. Now, Rashford is apparently injured at the moment, so I don't know if he's going to miss this game or not. Um, he may miss this. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, Man United should still be reg regardless winning this kind of matchup because of how good their quality is. And I'm going to go with Man United to win um, this one. I might also play my booster as well. So my uh, my player to score for Man United, I'm going to go with... 
Hmm. Who's going to score the goal? I'm going to go with Anthony, actually. Something tells me Anthony's going to score, and I'm going to play my booster for this one. So, very, very interesting there. Very low scoring. And then finally, we have the Conference League, guys. Conference League time. So, let's do this, guys. So, one minute. We're at 5-14. Okay. Oh, sorry. U E C L. There we go. Ghent versus West Ham. Now, I'm actually going with upset on this one, guys. I think Ghent will actually win the first leg, but just about. It's going to be very close. I'm going to go with the 1-0 win for Ghent, guys. A 1-0 win for Ghent. I think they're just going to do it. West Ham, I think they'll be stunned. They'll be surprised. And, yeah, I'm going to go with Ghent to do it. So, I'm going to go with who is my... I'm going to go with that Orban guy that scored a hat-trick in the previous round against Istanbul Bashakshi here. Where is this? Where is Orban? Where is he? Oh, right here. Okay. Next is Basel versus Nice. I'm going to play... I'm going to go with a... I think I'm going to go with the Nice win, actually, on this one. I'm going to go Nice to win. I was tempted to play a draw, but I feel like I played too many draws this race. So I'm going to go Nice to win. I think Nice have way too much quality for Basel. I don't really see Basel doing this. I'm going to go with Mofi to score the goal um, to give them the lead. Uh, then we got Anderlecht versus AZ Alkmaar, guys. I'm going to go with for this one. I'm going to go with is a nil-nil draw. I think I'm going to go with the nil-nil draw. I think it'll be very low scoring. I don't see a lot of goals taking place. And, yeah, I'm going to go with a nil-nil draw. So, um, I'm not going to play my booster for that one. And then next is Lech Pazan versus Fiorentina. I think Fiorentina is going to win this. I think it's going to be a bit of a too much for Lech Pazan. I hope I'm wrong, though, because I would love to see Lech Pazan do it. But I think Fiorentina just have way too much quality. And I think Fiorentina is definitely one of the favorites to win this competition. So, I'm going to go with um, I'm gonna go with Arthur Carbal to score the goal. And I'm going to play my booster for this one, guys. Play my booster. So, we actually are doing this one quite early. We were actually supposed to do 8 to 10 minutes, but ends up being like around 7 minutes. So, like I said, guys, um, please consider liking this video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new on here. Comment down below your thoughts in the comment section below um, if you're doing all that. And also, make sure you guys check out my other platforms in the description below as well. Remember, guys, the links will be in the description below if you guys want to join these leagues. And, of course, also check out my other platforms in the description below. I already mentioned that, I think. And also, click that join button if you haven't already to consider to get access to members videos and member streams which i'll be dropping more soon in the future so yeah we're trying to get eight members and try to get eight members and of course i want to try to reach 10 likes on this video guys 10 likes so yeah like i said guys um and we're gonna do a review show on this on wednesday for the champions league and a review show on thursday to recap all the conference league and europa league games so i hope you guys did enjoy and yeah like i said guys i'll put the cards and i'll put the the live stream cards in the right side of the video so hope you guys did enjoy this video let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.